Yow! Oh, didn't see you there. Welcome back to The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, Chapter 2, Retribution. This is the early access PC VR version, which is not due out in full release till February of 2023. But the Meta Quest version is due out in just a couple days on December 1st. In these videos, I'm going to be going through some of the new items, weapons, and features in the game. And the reason I'm doing that on the PC VR version is because there's some development tools that allow me to spawn in items and load up scenarios so that I can show them to you without having to progress to that point in the story. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new sap gloves that allow us to punch walkers, which we've never been able to do in Saints and Sinners before. But before we get to that, take a minute to click the S in the corner to subscribe. Heading for 25,000 subscribers, I'd love to have you on the team. Also like, share, leave a comment, let me know what you think of the video, or the game, or these sap gloves I'm about to show you. Now a lot of players thought that these sap gloves were going to help with climbing because in trailers and previews they were shown on the tourist while he was climbing, but that's not the case. The term sap refers to something like a blackjack, which is a weighted object used for combat, or a cloche, that sort of thing. In this case, we're talking about weights added to gloves so that punching does more damage. They have no effect on climbing. So they're available at this new crafting table at level three. Now these new crafting tables usually need you to go out and scavenge at night so that you can level them up. But at level three, we get sap gloves, put some weight behind those punches. And those are these gloves with uh, chains wrapped around basically uh, motorcycle gloves or armored gloves with maybe some tape to hold the chains on. And then later on at level 10, we have bolted up gloves when you have to make every punch count. And that's these gloves. Look a bit nicer, same kind of base except we have steel on the knuckles uh, as well as on the back of the hand there. So we're going to take these to a location and try them out but first let's see how they go on. So you get two obviously one for each hand and to put them on you want to pick it up and then we get a little ghostly animation of what to do and what you want to do is while holding the glove in one hand move it onto your other hand and pull right past your wrist and the glove just goes right on. Now let's back up so we don't grab anything else. And to take it off, you grab at your hand and you pull off. There we go. So on it goes, and off it comes. Pretty smooth once you know that you have to push past your wrist to get the glove on. Looking Pretty fantastic. So, we're gonna start off with these, and then we'll move on to the bolted up. But let's put these back on the table. This is why I stepped back, because we're grabbing other things instead of the glove. You gotta kinda be clear of other grabbable objects, then you can grab the gloves in order to remove them. Now I have grab points turned off. Usually you'll see little white indicators, little white dots showing what you're about to grab. So with those turned off, it's a little more difficult to grab specific items amidst a bunch of items, but we're doing all right. Yeah, those look nicer. Okay. Let's pop these off. We'll put the other ones back on. I just wanted to show you these and then we'll head to a location and try them out. Now, these are gonna make punching sounds when you hit a variety of things. So don't be alarmed if you're walking around making punching sounds. That's just your gloves hitting walls and, and that sort of thing. All right, let's get these on. 
put these in our pack. And we'll head out somewhere. All right, here we are at Old Town. The bells have just rung. We're gonna take these sap gloves for a little test drive. See how they fare against the walker hordes. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Now, when I tried these in my quest playthrough, which keep in mind is also early access, they didn't seem that effective. This seems much better. We get a little bit of knockback, so they can't grapple, and then we can brain them with a second hit. Oh yeah, that feels good. Although, this one's already glowing red, meaning it's gonna wear out soon. I would think that the, uh, nice. The higher end sap gloves, the bolted up gloves, will have a little more durability. Looks like if we hold them, we can actually punch right into their heads, which is pretty cool. Oh, we've lost one there, and we were pretty low on stamina. So it does take quite a bit of stamina. So let's see if we can take those off. We'll put on the other ones. We'll grab it with our other hand, and we'll see how we fare with these. Nice. Wanted to try, have a little knife and sap glove action. She did not want to go down. Where did that come from? Pulled that out of our holster. Okay, let's turn our laser sight on. This is one of the special edition weapons. But this video is not about that. That was just for emergencies. Get back to punching. So that one was about to grapple me, and the punch interrupted it. Well, these are just a barrel of laughs. Yeah, laying into them like that really takes a lot of stamina. And uh, so far, these are probably the most physical weapons in the game, meaning that if this is what you're using, you're gonna get a bit of a workout. Well, there you have it. Taste of the new sap gloves in The Walking Dead. Saints and Sinners, Chapter 2, Retribution. <laughs>